Thursday night college football. We've seen some sharp money come in early this week on both the side and total in the Florida International UTEP game. I'm going to let you know what side and total the sharps like. And more importantly, I'm going to let you know which one I like the best. Free play coming up for you with analysis in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV, breaking down your Wednesday night primetime game at 9 Eastern on CBS Sports Network. Florida International at UTEP. And on the surface, a 2-4 and four FIU team against an 0 and 6 straight up UTEP team might be a pretty ugly matchup, but I do think there's value in this game. First, let's talk about where the sharp money's come in. Uh, substantial move early in the week from three and a half, four up to six and a half, seven on Florida International as I do this video, pretty much seven across the boards now at the Wager Talk Live odd screen. But the money's also coming on the under in this one. It opened around 50, now down to 48. So we've seen the sharp early money this week come in on both the favorite and the under. Of those two, I definitely agree with the move to Florida International. As long as this day's seven or less, I do think there's still value playing this road favorite on Wednesday night. National TV games, so they'll be fully focused. They won't overlook a UTEP team, which they have struggled with in recent years. In fact, UTEP on a current 3-0 and run against FIU, but it's misleading. Scotty Waldron is now the new head coach. This team has lost basically all their players from last season. Cupboard was very bare when he came in from Austin P. He had to bring in a lot of FCS caliber guys to fill the holes, and it's been showing. Not only are they 0-6 straight up, but they're just 1-5 against their number. They're not even competitive in most of these games, and I think this will be another loss uh, by double digits this Wednesday night. They also have a short turnaround. They don't have time to fix things. In fact, their bye week isn't coming for two more games until uh, early November. And this is what the team really needs. So having to turn around and play on just five days and rest and prep isn't going to help things. Meanwhile, FIU actually has seven days of rest and prep because they played last Tuesday and now they play Wednesday. I know Miami didn't get hit as hard as the rest of Florida, but there's still a lot of distractions with the two storms moving through the last couple weeks. So I also think a road game here will be a nice breath of fresh air. And we saw that in the game last week at Liberty over a two-touchdown dog. They were very competitive, only lost by seven despite a 2-1 turnover deficit. So this Florida national team is better than their 2-4 and straight-up record, and that's indicated by their 4-2 and spread record because they've been an underdog in five of their six games this season. The one game they were favored was not a good turnout. I know that. It was a 12-point favorite. They lost outright to Monmouth. But because of that, this line is cheaper than it should be. And that's why that opening number got hammered so much by the sharp early money, moving it from three and a half, four up to six and a half, seven. And as long as this stays seven or less, I like Florida International. Statistically, also, they're better than an average two and four team would be. In fact, if you look at their numbers this year, uh, their rush offense has been very mediocre. Uh, but they should have success, by the way, running against a terrible UTEP run defense that's given up 236 rushing yards, 5.2 yards per carry. But Florida National does throw the ball well, 7.8 yards per pass, and they'll be taking on a UTEP team that's been equally bad against the pass this year, 8.2 yards per pass allowed, 67% completions. Uh, UTEP also does not move the ball well offensively. They average just 5 yards per play against pretty weak defenses or decent defenses that give up 5.6. On the season, Florida International's given up just 5.5 against teams that average 6.3. So this is a huge step down in class for FIU. The fact that they're just 2-4 and four and it's a national TV game, they will not overlook it, and we get a discounted price because they're on the road. At 7 or less, I agree with the sharp money. Florida National is the way I would play this game on Wednesday night, 9 Eastern on CBS Sports Network. Hey, hope you're enjoying these free play videos. I'm trying to do all the Tuesday and Wednesday games. Last Tuesday and Wednesday, a perfect 2-0 sweep. NFL Thursday night, Broncos Saints preview is here for you. I've started doing the NFL Thursday night games each week for the last four weeks since I started. Perfect 4-0 sweep on those free plays here on NFL Thursday night. I've got Saints Broncos as well. So make sure you click subscribe and you hit the bell for an instant alert when these weeknight standalone solo free play TV game videos go up for you here on the channel. And also comment below if you're finding them useful. Let me know what side or total you like in this game and what else you're looking at this week in college and pro football because I read all the comments and I reply back. Thumbs up, like. If you're liking the free play videos, give them a thumbs up, like, and I'll keep them coming. Boom, you did it. Thank you. And don't forget, if you want my serious, true best bets, you know, these free TV leans are nice. Maybe treat them as a 1% play if you're looking at them. Maybe they align with your handicap and they'll help you out. But if you really want to win and treat this as a long-term investment, you need my personal best bets. Those are the 4% strong plays that I release each week for my direct clients at Wager Talk. The same games are up over 170 units of profit already in 2024, and we still have two and a half months to go this year. Hey, if you want to get the rest of 2024 for free, you can do so right now. I know that sounds pretty good. What's the catch? Well, the catch is you get an additional $200 discount on next year's All Sports Package. That's right. Right now, you can sign up for all of 2025, the full one-year all-access, with an instant $200 discount 
and you get the rest of 2024, the next two and a half months for free, which is worth several hundred dollars more for free. It's a fantastic offer right now at wagertalk.com. And once again, to put it in perspective, I'm 27 and 14 on football best bets this regular season, number one already in college and pro football. 31 and 13 finished to the baseball regular season. Playoffs are still going. You'll get all of next year's baseball season as well with this package. And the NBA starts next week. I'm number one the last three years combined in the NBA, number one all time in units one in the history of wagertalk.com. So yeah, this is a great time to be on board. In fact, over the next month is the only time all season, all year, that baseball, football, and basketball are all going at the same time. And you can get it for free when you get to 2025. That is a true investment approach. It makes you play consistently. It makes you take a serious investment approach. And best of all, it gets the cost of play down to about a dollar per play for the next year plus. Check it out right now. No promo code needed. Instant $200 discount on next year's All Sports and the rest of this year, the next two and a half months for free. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz/sm. Now, if you want just the rest of the college or pro football seasons, instant discounts on both this week only. $299 for college, $399 for the NFL. You'll see the special promo codes for those on my page. You do need promo codes. I put all that information up each day, along with daily free plays. Check out those bonus free plays and the special promos. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Hey, don't forget to follow me on social media as well, at Steve Merrill. You know the deal. Two R's, one L. At Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And stay tuned here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free play videos coming up next.